Welcome to Listening Highlight Incorrect Words Practice Set Number 1. As we discussed in the introduction section for Highlight Incorrect Words, this is a test of your listening uh, as well as your reading abilities. So you, you'll see a text on your screen and you have a few seconds before an audio starts playing. And then what you have to do is you have to follow the text uh, along with the audio and wherever you find that a word uh, in the text that's on the screen is different from the word as being spoken in the audio on your screen you'll uh, in the exam you'll click on it and you'll highlight that in 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 our practice session classes of course you know uh, you can just note down that word in your notepad scratch pad just just keep a track of it and we'll compare it later so the the key to scoring doing very well at highlighting correct words is yes you know first your ability to be ability to be able to listen and then in your mind related to what you are reading so the speed is very important how you move your eye on the screen as you follow the text and as you hear it that's very important and that's what we are going to focus on during these practice sessions. So let's start with the practice set number one and let's go to question number one. Siblings Clayson, Janita, and Clee Benali grew up on Black Mesa, the center of a political land dispute between a coal mining company and the Navajo and Hopi tribes. They couldn't ignore what they saw as oppression and abuse of power, so they formed the punk rock group called Blackfire. All right. So, as you saw, there are 10 seconds before the audio starts playing. So how to use the 10 seconds quickly browse through what's there on the screen see any difficult or any words that you're unfamiliar with because probably you know those are the words which are going to trip you as you listen to the audio and then uh, before the audio starts you know, quickly come back to the first word and be alert and be ready to follow whatever you are listening okay now let's go and check the answers Siblings Clayson, Janita, and Clee Benali grew up on Black Mesa, the center of a political land dispute between a coal mining company and the Navajo and Hopi tribes. They couldn't ignore what they saw as oppression and abuse of power, so they formed the punk rock group called Blackfire. All right, so, so there were one, two, three, four, and five words which were wrong. Center, dispute, ignore, abuse, and formed. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure and I hope that you know you know the meanings of all these words if you got any one of those wrong try to identify what why you, you know why you couldn't identify that particular word was it the speaker was speaking too fast or was the word unfamiliar to you all right let's go to question number two now There are changes coming to the SAT college entrance exam next year. As of today, students can go online for the SAT's new free study prep and practice tools. They come from Khan Academy. That's an online education nonprofit. It has partnered with the College Board, which administers the SAT, and that partnership is something of a challenge to the lucrative test prep industry. All right, so in the first 10 seconds, you, you would have obviously noticed that you know this is about SAT, about exam preparation, etc. And let's see what the um, incorrect words were. So as I go to the next slide, the audio will also start playing, and try to follow along and identify. As you 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 will see on the screen which words are wrong. There are changes coming to the SAT college entrance exam next year. As of today, students can go online for the SAT's new free study prep and practice tools. 
They come from Khan Academy. That's an online education nonprofit. It has partnered with the College Board, which administers the SAT, and that partnership is something of a challenge to the lucrative test prep industry. So you see, sometimes、uh, if you're not alert, you know, you can confuse the words that you hear. For example, coming, concerning, challenge, change. Okay, see if I say challenge, change, very quickly one after another.、Um, someone who's not very careful, they can,、um, you know, get confused between them. So,、uh, but other than that, I think you should have been able to get most of these correct. Let's get to question number three now. Obsessive compulsive disorder (OCD) is a mental health condition where a person has obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviour. An obsession is an unwanted, unpleasant thought, image, or urge that repeatedly enters a person's mind, causing them anxiety. Psychologists believe the condition may run in families, or that people with OCD have an imbalance of serotonin in their brains. Now, new research is being done, which could, in the future, help with treatment. In the meantime, for those who suffer with obsessive compulsive disorder (OCD), its impact can be devastating. Okay,、uh, let's go and see which words were incorrect. Obsessive compulsive disorder (OCD) is a mental health condition where a person has obsessive thoughts and compulsive behaviour. An obsession is an unwanted, unpleasant thought, image, or urge that repeatedly enters a person's mind, causing them anxiety. Psychologists believe the condition may run in families, or that people with OCD have an imbalance of serotonin in their brains. Now, new research is being done, which could, in the future, help with treatment. In the meantime, for those who suffer with obsessive compulsive disorder (OCD), its impact can be devastating. So you see the. The words that were wrong, you know, mental model, thoughts, torments, research results, anxiety, annoyance, treatment, improvement. So some of them probably sound similar. Yeah, and and if you look at it,、uh, you know, they they might also look similar. So the key here is, and I'll say that once again, you know, your ability to be able to follow through. To listen as well as read at the same time. Okay, so put your full attention into each and every word as you hear. Don't rush through. That's the critical aspect. Let's go to question number four now. Every year we celebrate the Fourth of July with barbecues and fireworks. Why? Because they're awesome. More importantly, it's because 200 some odd years ago, 56 men were brave enough to sign a piece of paper known as the Declaration of Independence. Maybe you heard of it. See, back in June of 1776, the Continental Congress got together and chose five men to draft a document informing King George that they no longer wished to be under British rule. Actually, they just straight up told him, "Hey." We're forming our own nation. Also, you're kind of a jerk. Of these five men, Thomas Jefferson would ultimately become the principal author, presumably because he had the best handwriting. This turned out to be a good call because he wrote a nearly flawless first draft. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. That- all right. So th- this is about the American Declaration of Independence. Uh, so, and the Fourth of July, the holiday in America, that you sh-、uh, probably have been able to guess that in the first ten seconds. But now let's go and have a look at what the incorrect words were. Every year we celebrate the Fourth of July with barbecues and fireworks. Why? Because they're awesome. More importantly, it's because 200 some odd years ago, 56 men were brave enough to sign a piece of paper known as the Declaration of Independence. Maybe you heard of it. See, back in June of 1776, the Continental Congress got together and chose five men to draft a document informing King George that they no longer wished to be under British rule. Actually, they just straight up told him, "Hey, we're forming our own nation." Also. 
you're kind of a jerk. Of these five men, Thomas Jefferson would ultimately become the principal author, presumably because he had the best handwriting. This turned out to be a good call because he wrote a nearly flawless first draft. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. That all right, so how many of these words did you highlight correctly? Or were you able to pick? See, uh, s some of them, you know, they... Uh, have similar or the same meaning right so where you say amazing you can most of the time say awesome ultimately finally eventually you know they are similar words they have the same meaning uh, flawless means perfect right so that that's also what you have to keep in mind sometimes if if you're not careful you know you'll assume because it, it would seem to be right as it is written uh, you know for example uh, Thomas Jefferson would finally become so so if I just look at the text you know there's nothing wrong in it but only when I listen properly I'm able to find the difference so once again I'm saying pay attention on each and every word well done you have completed set one of listening highlight incorrect words take a small break because this was a small session and after that go to practice set number two all the best